What's going on guys? This is Steve. Hope you guys will enjoy this and welcome all of you into the review of Detective Comics issue number 43. So this review is, I'm going to read this review from Weird Science DC Comics blog.blogspot.in and he's really great writing this review. So what we get, some question from this review is, did Gordon totally kick ass and did we get any closer to the explosive sneak peek from me? Let's find out. So the answer to the first question is a big yes but that isn't necessarily a good thing garden may have kicked la Morte ass but it all seems to be part of their plan while he was throwing punches the gang ran off with the robo suits power care power core that's a million dollar mystic jim he knows it and the only thing that makes him feel any better is that daryl has a way to track the core if it's used now that's pretty cool catch 22 right there kiddos i know i have said over it Ever, but I love the way Bucaletto is dealing with new Batman is in this book. You really get the sense that while Gordon is doing the best he can, he is learning on the job and may well be in over his head already. We then switch gears a bit for some street level GCPD action. The whole department is still preparing for the big circus. It really seems like the circus should be long over by now and the worst kept secret has come to the forefront. Yip is dirty everyone and their mother everyone and their mother seems to know it already and the question is what are they going to do about it the man closest to yeep has a plan and it involves batman and will lead directly to the snake pig poor bullock yeah up until this point everything great but it was still pretty much by the numbers for this book then Bacaletto throws in a curveball that shocked the hell out of me i don't want to spoil it but it involves one of my least favorite characters ever however i trust Bacaletto and the reason the character is here actually has me into greed so after Bolo confronts Eve and La Morte gets deeper in the Gotham crime scene the issue ends uh, by showing the reader why the power core was stolen and it is huge and pretty much awesome. I really don't know how Garden is going to deal with this very big problem. Yeah, it's too big. That's why I have to tell that it's a very big problem. So this issue may be a whole lot of setup, but Bucaletto gives us a crazy guest character, gets us closer to Eve meeting her maker, and ends with an incredibly exciting cliffhanger that makes for a pretty damn good issue to me. I was really hoping that Bullock would somehow still be able to save Eve, but I can't see how Watts and and that's happening now. So while I'm still bummed that Francis Manipal didn't finish the run with Bucaletto, Fernando Blanco is a more than adequate relief feature. In fact, it really seems like he's settled into this book and this issue is his best one yet. So yeah, it's really enjoyable and the cliffhanger is really exciting because at the end, if any comic book gives you something that you will anticipate for the next issue, that's the successful, that's the success story of a comic and right now this comic book has just given same that great freaking thing and it's a big cliffhanger because when Batman drops into a crime scene or drops into an action place, he is the bigger one in this scene. He thought he is the bigger one but... Here it is, the bigger one is million times bigger from him, that is next is upcoming Joker bot. So hope you guys have enjoyed it, this was Detective Comics issue number 43 review, have a great day and uh, before saying adios I have to tell you just go to the store and buy this comic book and support the creators that is DC Comics, that DC publishers, have a great day, adios.